Today we'll be playing Plantopia. So this is a new game that will be uh, on Kickstarter later in August. And uh, as you can see, the, the, the board is currently set up for four players. So we'll quickly fast forward this uh, so that it's meant for three players. So after you have set up the, the table for two player mode, which essentially is the power of uh, weather card from, from uh, all the other players, we each take a number of uh, a liberal number of planter cards because this is where we will be planting our plants. Okay, after that we will each draw five cards to start the game. So let me deal five cards to everyone. But before I do that, let me shuffle the deck. Huh. And let's deal five cards to each player. Okay, just for the state of this video, by right in the, in the game, there's two phases where you actually uh, have a planting phase and have a weather phase. And the planting phase is kind of played simultaneously. But just for the order of the video, uh, I will actually be the one drawing the card all the time first uh, before Jeremy takes over and draw the second card. So let me draw one card first. Let me draw one card. Playing on Tabletopia sometimes is a bit clunky. Yeah, so I have my six cards. Jeremy, have you drawn your card? No. I'll just take yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, you go ahead and uh, draw, draw yourself a card. Okay. Okay, so now it's the uh, first phase, which is the planting phase. So we will each get to either plant or draw, because we can't grow anything, even that we have nothing to to grow. So I think we all probably have to take a moment to see what cards we exactly have. Okay, I kind of know good. what I want. Yeah, looks good. So, uh, okay, let's do the planting phase uh, kind of simultaneously. I'm going to plant Tulip. So Tulip, when I plant this, I will have to discard one card. So that's what I'm going to do. And because Tulip's effect uh, allows me to kind of grow itself by one level. So I start Tulip off directly at level one. So Jeremy, what about you? Okay, so I think I will just stay safe and I'll plant a point. Let's get this. So it, it starts at level zero. And I and I got to discard one card, right? Yep. Wow, okay, I'm spoiled for choice. But I think I will discard I will discard a back this first. Yeah, you just discard somewhere, I will, I will sort out the discard pile, no worries. Because what you have to do for planting pointless characters is you also have to draw four and discard yep. two. Yeah. So, so the will... icons, yeah, so the icons at the bottom of the, uh, of each plant, when there's a lightning bolt kind of icon, it means it happens immediately, just like my tulip card. And uh, for the arrow pointing downwards, it means this plant, and then it, this red arrow here means level up. So for the pointless characters, it means immediately Jeremy has to draw four and discard two. Yep. So let me know once you're done with the discarding. All right, I'm done. Okay. So next, we'll go on to the weather phase. So what will happen is uh, because we are playing two players, so we will actually first draw two cards uh, out of the out of the uh, common weather power. So let's do draw two. Okay. I was not meant to do that. Okay, so basically, this is the known weather cards that will be out. And we will each then play one weather card, followed by opening one more card from weather power, and that will form up the five weather. So what is the significance about weather in this game is that the five weather card that is being played will actually then allow plants that are in the, uh, in the planter to grow if their weathers actually match up. For, so for example, for Tulip, I require a water and a wind for it to grow another level. Yeah, and in the case of uh, Jeremy's pointless characters, he requires two sun. 
Mm. So I guess we all know what he's going to play and you kind of can guess what I'm going to play. Uh-huh. Because we each have one weather card each. As you can see, yeah. I'm playing the player Banana and uh, he's actually using Potato. So I guess uh, it's kind of an open secret what I'll be playing. But nevertheless, it, uh, according to the gameplay, we will then be uh, putting the card out. Yeah. So actually, we could uh, draw these cards into our hand if we want to, the weather cards that is kind of our own uh, player logo. Yeah. But I think just for the purpose of this uh, this video, we'll just be showing them on the table. So Jeremy, you're done? Yep. Okay, and tell me it's not a sun. <laughs> okay, wow, like sun surprise, surprise. Going. Yeah, it's as <laughs> though we don't know what we are doing. Okay, so what is the last weather? And that is another win. So actually, I could have avoided playing a win, but I mean, I only have one blunt, so it makes yeah. no difference. Mm. So now, Tulip is at level 2, and uh, Jeremy's uh, pointless, pointless is at level 1. So with that, we will actually uh, kind of tidy up the weather cards. So we will each take back our own weather card. And for the remaining weather cards, it goes back to the pile to be shuffled for it to be built again uh, in the next weather phase. So let's shuffle this. And now it's uh, a new turn, so I will do that by drawing one card first. Or maybe I can deal one card to each of us. You have one new card? Yep. Yeah, okay, so it works. So now it's back to the planting phase. Hmm. Hmm, what do I want to do? Okay, I will be planting my carnation. So for a card like Carnation, if you see on the top left hand corner, for the previous cards, uh, it's actually a card symbol with a number that, that depicts how many cards you have in this card. But for my uh, card Carnation uh, card, it says Flower and it says Two. That means I actually have to discard a planter flower that I have in play that is of level 2. And it happens that my Tulip is that card, so I'm going to discard my Tulip away. Wow. So now I have a new advanced card. Do they call this an advanced card? What do they call this? They call this an evolved plant. So in the past, I had a baby plant and now I have an evolved plant. If we haven't managed to state this any earlier, uh, the end game is triggered when a player has four plants that has reached uh, the planter level 3. So that will trigger the end game and scoring will take place. Okay, so for me, I will plant a tree tree. Such interesting name. Tree tree. <laughs> <laughs> so I will discard one, one card. All right. Um, let's see. I will discard just a pepper tree. <laughs> hey. So because uh, Jeremy mm -hmm. actually played a 3-3, three, three, on the bottom, it instantly gives him an uh, a, a effect and he actually gets to get a bonus sun card. So mm -hmm. Jeremy, you can draw a, 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 a sun card from this common pile. He can actually use that as a bonus 6 weather if you'd like to and that weather card will only apply to him. Yeah. I can for use it anytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use it anytime during the weather phase. So for my carnation, uh, because there is this tick with the flower logo at the bottom, this actually means there's an end game uh, points uh, system. So these colorful leaves that you see over here are actually uh, points. So effectively, my carnation would mean that for every evolved flower and tree I have, I will get bonus two points for each combo of that I have. Hmm. So are you done? Okay, now let's open the two weather cards that we have already drawn. So we will have water and wind. Ah. Hmm. Ah. What are my cards? 
what do you want to see? Okay, I want this. Ah. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm helping you, but... Anyway, this is the other card. Okay. So I think we, we probably can also guess what is the possibility of a of the next weather card. So because in this case, we can see that actually a carrot has appeared and it's water. And the carrot, the card that was on top of the weather pile is actually another carrot, which means it cannot be water. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure whether this was intended, but it seems that we can play in this manner. Hmm, okay. All right, so let's slip open our own weather card. So we have a wind, we have a sun. Yeah. And ah, the last so one is actually another wind. So ah, that so means condition is going up. How about you? Nothing, man. Okay, pointless characters and 3-3, three, three, nothing happens. Oh, surprise you didn't choose for water because that will give you a sure go for 3-3. Three, three. I have other plans for 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Ah, okay, so you have to, you're gonna suck it. Okay, so let's take back our own weather card. Do you want to play your bonus sun to grow your pointless characters? No. <laughs> I can do it now? You could, you could, because there was a sun in play. Yeah, sure, that might not. Have... Okay, so then you discard your sun back to this uh, common pile. And Ooh. yeah, because now it means that for Jeremy, just for illustration purpose, we have six weather distance and he has two sun. So pointless characters grows another level. Alright. Alright, then we let's take back our own card. Don't really enjoy playing Tabletopia because it's very clunky. If it's real life, we we'll just be putting the cards back. But oh well, <laughs> this is the new age that we live in now. So I'm gonna deal one card each. And this is our new hand new drawn hand so we, we start off with planter phase again let me shuffle the weather cards to make it fair okay it's no longer a carrot on top it's a tomato so what should i do okay i will plant Okay, I'll plant a, I'll plant a cactus, and uh, so I have to discard one to plant my cactus. I will discard the. I think I should be discarding my cacti. <laughs> yeah, I will discard my cacti, and uh, because Jeremy haven't decided, so I'm just gonna draw my five cards for cactus effect and discard four later on. So let me draw five first, and now I have so many hands. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's quite it's quite amazing how this game that like, you can get to draw so many at one go. Yeah, for some of these effects, right? Helps to wash and, and, and trim down your cards. Kind of. Hmm. Okay, there's a new symbol that I can't really identify. Let me look at the player. It... Oh, okay. So in the event, actually, if you have a card that on the bottom it says it shows a flower pot logo, it actually gives you another plant slash grow action method. Oh wow! But I, from, what, from what I guess, you probably can only choose to plant or grow. You can't choose to draw a card. Whereas in your normal plant, your your normal planting phase, you can actually choose to plant, grow, or draw a card. Yeah. So. Okay. Anyway, for my turn. I choose to plant a symmetry and, oh, nice. and, if, yeah, and if you notice I, I need to pay at the cost of one uh one other tree which is tree tree I hey, guess. You need, a, you need a level one tree tree. Or you need a level one tree card to plant this. Oh crap. Okay, so I can't do this. Because your tree tree is on level zero, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, you that is, have grown that is, tree tree. That is pointless, so I'll just play a pointless cactus. A pointless cactus is good there. Eh? Because yeah. it lets you draw a lot of cards in your hand. I need cards. Yeah, I haven't okay. discarded my card. Right? Yeah, so you, you go ahead and you discard your hand. Have you discarded a card for a pointless cactus? No. Nope. Let me do it now. 
yeah, you should do it because by right you shouldn't be drawing small cards mm. first to decide to discard. I'm still stuck on discarding cards. Okay, I'm gonna discard one three three. I have to discard four, and that's that. Okay, so there's one three three down. I'm gonna discard another three three. I'm gonna discard. Uh, should I discard this? Mm. Oh, it's so tough. Okay, I'm gonna discard an uh, impossible three. That's like. How many cards have I discarded? Oh, I lost count. I discarded two, three, three, and one impossible three. Okay, so now for my last card, I am going to discard a. Every card is good, uh, that's a problem. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna tell you that 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 um besides I'm just gonna discard my geometry la. okay I'm I'm done. Yeah, I have discarded four painful cards from my hand. Say man. I'm going to discard a geometry and I think I will discard uh, I don't know man Buttercup I was about to tell you that like you know behind these cute graphics there's actually um, a lot of intricate um, strategies behind each card like you got to plan quite a few steps ahead yeah you really have to and, and, and don't really and don't look yeah, and don't fumble like what I did just now. Trying to grow a, trying to plant a plant that doesn't have meet the requirements. Yeah, so okay, now that we are done with uh, the discarding, let's go back to weather phase. So these are the two cards that will be part of our weather. And what do I need here? Oh, sorry, these two cards should be seen first. Yeah. We have a uh, nice. I know what you're gonna play. <laughs> and I know what you're gonna play as so... well. Yeah, I'm gonna play this. But you Ha! Surprise me. Ah, okay, I think I know what you're gonna play. Okay, let's see. Should we draw the third card? I mean the, the fifth card. Okay, yeah. let's draw the third card. And the third card is a... Water card! Oh. Okay, so let's draw all our cards. Alright, so... You own your 3-3 tree -tree group. Everything at my side grow. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, just, just so that it's clear, uh, the playing of the weather card uh, or the weather card is five weather card individually takes its effect on each plant. So it doesn't mean that you assign three weather to one plant means you get two remaining for the other. That, it doesn't work in this game. Yeah, it means that all five weather cards actually apply to that one plant. And then once you're done, whether it grows or not, it goes to the next plant and so on and so forth. Because that's essentially the weather condition. If you are done with the going, let's uh, take back our own weather card. Okay, so I think by now you probably get the feel of how the game goes. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me do one card each. Okay. Let me be nice and let me draw you a new planter card. Because I think you need it. <clears throat> Spot on, man. Okay, I'm going to play my point characters. Since you're still thinking, and I'm going to discard a cactus. And because I played a pointless cactus, I'm going to draw four cards. And I have to discard two. So, yeah, over to you. What, what are you thinking about? I'm going to play, let's see, I'm going to play a cactus, um, again, yeah, draw 5, discard 4.
going to discard this and I'm going to discard Buster. So I like this card, man. This card looks strong. Yeah. Um, spoiled for choice. Fight when you have guns. <laughs> um, spoiled for choice. Oh. Actually, if you haven't realized, some of the uh, footnotes on the cards actually are very interesting. Like for square root of 3, the footnote it says sometimes behaves irrationally. Which is meant to be a pun, I guess. <laughs> are you done with this cutting? Yes, I'm done. Okay, in that case, then let's do the weather phase. I think by now we probably get a grind of what we want to do already. So let's see what the weather cuts are. The second one is another carrot, so it, it means that you'll be a sun or a wind. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play this. I'm just gonna disregard your plant and I'm just gonna play my weather as, as I want to play. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or I have to bet that the last carrot is a wind card because you're not gonna play any wind because wind doesn't play any effect. So let's Observation. open your card. The sun, mine is a wind. Am I gonna get lucky? Yes! Oh, what? No! <laughs> so my carnation no. grows to level 3. So anyway, when you have a when you have a plant that is tree evolved, which means it grows to level 3, you flip it by its side. Yeah, it's a standalone. This shows that it's level 3. And uh, yeah, you can use the planter card for another card or you can discard it. Yeah, uh, does my cactus grow? Yes, my cactus grow to level 2. Because there's and a sun and a water, and my pointless cactus go as well to level one. Yeah. So my pointless cactus is going to level three. I'll flip this guy. Oh, nice. Yeah, and what else grew? This one grew one, and my cactus grew one as well. Let me help you with the weather card. Okay. While yeah. you are looking at growing. Yeah. I guess at this stage we can just be playing simultaneously and uh, uh, the viewers probably got the drift of how this uh, this game is working and uh, perhaps let's fast forward from here and uh, yeah, we'll show you how the end game looks like. One eternity later. All right. Intense, intense. Oh, ooh, okay. So, so what happens when you don't? When the game ends and you haven't reached level three, you can still use use the card. Right? Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it will still be uh points. Point. Yeah. So, for example, yeah, for example, my pointless cactus it doesn't reach level three at the game. Uh, end game is triggered. It means it's worth two points because it's uh kind of one colorful leaf for every level it has level up. So it means that because I'm at level two, it, it will be worth two points to me. I'm going to play a baby cactus and at the same time I'm going to be discarding a I'm going to play a pepper tree I'm going to discard a, a pepper tree <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll draw two cards for the baby cactus I discard natural flower so I'll get an instant win Okay. okay, so then let's uh, see the weather. Let me shuffle the weather. So you... I'm not sure if you want to take back your water particle card. Oh, sorry. So we have a... We have a tomato nice. that can be anything. Yep, and we have a sun and a water already. Very nice. 
So you are actually you're actually gonna win this round, man. I mean like you're gonna get your pointless calculus to a level 3. Am I? Oh yeah, it's possible. Oh no, I didn't plan for it. Welcome back. We are now towards almost the end of the game. And uh if my pointless cactus actually levels up this round, the end game will be triggered because I will have four three uh plan. And I wasn't planning for that. If you can see my hand, I wanted to plant this first. And I missed out on planting this, which is a uh, I don't know, it's gonna hurt me in the long run. I'm not sure if I'm gonna win the game. But anyway, uh oh well, that has already happened. So I'm gonna be playing this. Okay, so should I force the game to end or does it benefit I don't know. Anyone? I don't know if it benefits you. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, so let's see. Let's see what, let's see the... The, let's see what tomato shows us. Yeah. Okay, it, <laughs> it's going to be ended anyway. So what do you play? Yeah, I wasn't going to end it. <laughs> okay, so my pointless characters have reached critical mass. So it's now level 3. My buttercup level up. My... Baby characters level up. Yeah, my, my baby characters is so is level 3. Oh, is it level 3? But it was yeah. level 2 before. It was level 1 before, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's level 2. Yes. Yeah. And then my... Cacti went level 1. Level 3 yeah, went up. And your... Yeah. Okay, so... Because I have four Trevolve uh, uh, tr plants, trees, whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, I have triggered the end game. So what we'll be doing now is to calculate the scores. So why don't... Uh, let me calculate uh, Jeremy's score first. So because he has a fully evolved cat cactus, that will be three points. His uh, symmetry fully evolved is worth six points, so that's nine points in total now. His pointless cactus is 3 points, so that is 12 points. His baby cactus is level 2, so that makes it 2 points, so that's 14 points. His uh, cacti is uh, level 1, that is worth 2 points, but I can see that cacti has an end game uh, effect, so we'll count that later. So 14, we add 2 points, that's 16. And for his pepper tree is 1, so that is 17. And for his cacti, it means that every... Uh, evolved characters and flowers he has will be worth extra two points. How many of those do you have? Uh, I oh, this must be evolved. Yeah, so you don't have any flower, right? Yeah, ain't the game ended. So which class. means, yeah, which means that it's worth nothing for its extra bonus end game. So which means you score seventeen points. <laughs> which I don't think is that bad. Okay, so let me see how many points I scored. So my pointless characters is three. My cactus is three, so that's six. My carnation is a uh, is a uh, six, so that's twelve. My gum tree is a uh, six, so that's eighteen. Ooh. Wow. My buttercup is one, so that is nineteen. My baby cactus is one, that is twenty. And because my carnation has an end game of uh, every evolved tree and flower, I get extra two points. I actually do have one evolved tree and one evolved flower, which is carnation itself and gum tree itself. So that will score me a total of 22 points. Hmm. Let me count again. 3, 6 plus 12, 18 plus 2, that's 20 plus 2 bonus points. 22 points. Great set. <laughs> Yeah, and the winner. <laughs> so Jeremy, how you found the how you found the game? Uh, I, I mean, I mentioned cards look simple, but there is much deeper strategy involved, and and I think yeah, I mean, it, I think it takes a few a few playthroughs to kind of uh, understand how different cards could synergize with one another, and and I mean, I think I really like the the element whereby you know you can grow the. Okay, you can grow the plants during your own phase and you can also grow them during the weather phase. And then I think the fun part is, you know, me trying to guess and double guess what set is gonna gonna play. What what is it a cloud? Is it a is it a the, the rain or is it a sun? 
And and you know most of the times I got it wrong. He he played something that I didn't expect him to. So yeah, but I mean in the in the sense, yeah, you know it, it hindered the growth of my plants. So I think I, I really like the aspect. Um, it, it it can kind of throw a spanner into into you know your your plans to grow your different plants. Yeah, I mean for me, I think it's a plantastic game. <laughs> Pun intended. But anyway, uh. Given the fact that the planting phase is a very uh, individual uh, playing area, uh, it, it will have lacked the player interaction with the weather phase we then come to play. Yep. But the fact that they have this weather phase, it made me need, I mean, it, it, it gives me the opportunity to kind of guess what you're playing based on the cards you have. And I think most of the time, because the cards you had and the weather card that was shown through the random deck, the, the random deck actually helped me in a bit because uh, you kind of were forced into playing one very specific weather or at least two out of the three so i i, I kind of can guess which one you're gonna play and, uh, and to be honest i think some of the times it didn't really affect my own plants hmm. just purely because my plants uh well for the for the for the longest part i didn't i didn't need wind that much and i think uh, i think the random weather uh, cards actually helped me quite a bit so if you if you talk about luck element well, for the game, I, I'm, I'm guessing for two player because you have this random uh, random uh, deck, there is some luck element to it. At five player, which this uh, game can be played up to, two to five, at five player, obviously, each player will be playing one weather card. So, uh, that will purely be strategic because there's no longer any randomness uh, from a, a random uh, pile. But even at four player, it means that it's just one out of the three. So, uh, the, the, it, it kind of reduces the randomness at higher player count. Yeah. Yeah. I, I the was, strategy actually moves there. I was going to add on that, you know, since I was going all out characters, so uh, sun and rain is like the key, the key important uh, elements for me. So in a sense, for a two player game, being able to see two cards beforehand, it kind of makes the decision process easier. Like I didn't really have to think much when I threw out any weather card. And, yeah. and most of the time that it, it kind of still uh, suited the, the, the weather that my plants needed to grow. So so I agree that with five player and with every player contributing one weather card, it really adds, it, it really kicks up a notch in terms of the strategy aspect. Yeah. Hmm. But regardless, I think it's uh, it's, it's really a, 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 a good solid game. Uh, uh, and uh, I think any player can actually pick this up very quickly and it, it definitely caters to many different crops. It's not your gamer's game per se but it could be a game for gamers just purely because their strategy involved in various card effects yeah, but the only downside to me for this is it's Stabletopia and it's, a, it's very clunky to play on a digital medium I, I'm sure playing the weather cards sorting things out drawing cards discarding cards is a lot easier if you play in physical form do you agree? yeah of course I mean it's actually my first time playing on tabletop here, so so you know, so as as we were taking as we were doing this video uh, filming, Seb is also teaching me how to you know the different controls, how to shuffle, how to issue cards. Yeah, I mean, look at those cute graphics. I would I would love to hold them in my hands and and look at the the graphics and look at the puns and so. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, I, I would say you know if if you love puns, I think you love this game. I think some of the puns here are top notch. Yeah, so. <laughs> Jeremy, definitely you get a chance to own this because this game is coming out on Kickstarter on the 27th of August. And uh, be sure to back Plantopia. Yeah, if you are from Singapore, just a further shout out. Uh, Daryl, who is the, who is the uh, designer of this game, is a uh, Singaporean designer. So he designed this game together with uh, another Singapore uh, digital graphic firm. So the IP of uh, the potatoes and the some of the vegetables that you see in this game is actually from that IP. So, all in all, uh, do give this game a, your support. Okay, so if you enjoy videos like this, uh, be sure to give the video a like, share with your friends, uh, click on the subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen or uh, below on YouTube. Turn your notification bell on so that you get our video as soon as they are out. More videos are on your site. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.